Welcome to my channel. My name is Cookie. God, why do I feel like this introduction is so boring? Maybe I should look for something else to be introducing myself with instead of Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <sighs> but anyway, welcome to my channel. My name is Cookie. For those who do not know me, and if you're new to this channel, you're so much welcomed. What else? Please subscribe, share, and like my video. And just let's just get into today's video. Today's video is just um, a DIY period. Okay. So in the past couple of videos, I've shared with you guys about uh, a studio knock that I created for my space. And I didn't get to show you how I came up with the old thing. So uh, in today's video, I'm actually going to show you how I create floating shelves just using um, a piece of wood, yarn, and just a nail. So that's just basically the idea about the, the, <laughs> the video. <laughs> so to begin with the... Uh, in the video i'm going to show you what exactly i need as i told you earlier you just need a piece of uh, wood it doesn't matter the size it's you who is supposed to know the size that you want to create your shelf for me i'm going to use a smaller piece which is this piece right here you could tell it's actually something that <sighs> something that uh is not the very 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 perfect there are some holes here, but I don't mind them because it's it's the right size. It's what I needed. And secondly, you're going to need, I don't know whether you're going to see this. I, I have these two pieces of yarn. So I have like a cream colored piece of yarn and I have these plastic um, ropes. You could also use, uh, what do you call them? You could also use like the sesso rope like I have used on the, the other shelves right there. Yeah, it's just basically what you can be able to afford or what you have. Huh? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it on the other side of the camera, right? Huh? Show you. I can still manage on this side. So what you basically do is you get uh, the right like how you want the shelf how long you want the shelf to hang so mine i already measured them so i'm not going to tell you exactly how long they were because i already forgot <laughs> so what you're going to do you're going to fold this into like two halves and make a knot at the very far edge like i am doing right now something like that huh just smaller depending on what you're going to use so this is what you're going to have and then i'm going to do likewise to this one and now that i have that like that i'm um, almost halfway done it's just like inserting it on the shelf and hanging and we are done with the diy <laughs> so it's uh so uh before that you're going to take both like when they're like that you also make like the place you 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 tied your two knots you're going to make another bigger knot on top like that so this one's a little bit big because it's just a combination of two knots and now you have something like this <laughs> do i even make any sense but i hope i do you know i'm i know i'm not telling or i'm not talking to somebody who doesn't get me huh? 
So this could only be the only technical part, but it's not that complicated. So you're going to take one of your edge, which is tied like this, and the other one is like this. They are joined in the middle. So you take your piece of wood and you place it on the corner of that one uh, yarn. Then the next, you do the same. like that and then you actually going to do i say like centrally locate it to a place that you feel like it's balanced and then you're going to have something like that and you're just done so the next thing you need to do is um why do i have this hanging like this so i'm going to trim them anyways so you have something like this and you just take a piece of um nail nail it on the wall and let's just style it just for demonstration let me take this mirror away and then i like show you how you can in different ways style or hard because actually as i told you earlier you can do shelving for decoration for storage like in the bathrooms or maybe a small corner library in your bedroom or you want to store some of your products and that is exactly what i'm going to show you because i i have shelves that i use for my products i have others that just use for decoration others just just use them for storage just to hold the little things that i create around that so let's get it So now it's it's actually fixed and it's so strong it cannot even come down. So I'm going to show you how you can decorate first. You can actually use a plant. You can also use books. You can also use some of your best thrifted items. Yeah, just like the way I'm going to do. <laughs> so I have like this plant. You can just place it in the middle. Depending on the size of the shelf, like the one I have is very small, so you can actually tell that it's so good for decoration purposes. Like, just imagine if you have like three of these, and then you have like like two different plants, then you can create like a pattern. You have you you have another shelf over here, another one over here. That place will really look so nice. And why not? Let's just take a picture. Such a nice background, right? <laughs> crazy so let's try something else so i have a couple of what do you call this some dispensers so i can place them right there play some fun right is it not cute so if you have like products like air products let me show you something Imagine this to be in your bathroom, so I can still add some more things like that. And it's just basically going to act like a storage. Yeah, you can add more things. It's just going to serve the right purpose, right? So that's just it, huh? Another way is just like creating a small place where you can be able to store your books and at the same time it's still very decorative, huh? The other thing you can also put whatever you thrift. Yeah, you just have some little decorative places, huh? <laughs> 